Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot with myself, Jasper Lawler. Today, we're going to be looking at Brent crude oil. The price has been trapped in a really tight range for the last couple of weeks, and we're going to be looking at some potential factors that could cause a, a breakout from that, from that range. Now, though the price action has been very compressed in the last couple of weeks, actually, we've seen quite a few gyrations in the price of oil. We saw a big run up from the start of the year where geopolitical tensions in Ukraine, in Iraq, across the globe really, even in China, really were driving up the price. But in the last few weeks, the last couple of months, we've seen a real collapse. And so now we're finding ourselves at this base level and we're in this contracted range and we want to decide, well, what's going to cause a breakout? A potential factor are uh, two economic reports from today. One is the GDP report from the US, the other is the FOMC meeting from the Federal Reserve. Now, these two reports kind of combine in their, in, in, in their significance because the FOMC has been propping up uh, the global economy with its very loose monetary policy, and the outcome of that policy should be higher growth across the world, including the US, but that's not what happened in the first quarter. We saw a massive drop in GDP in the first quarter, dropped by 2.9% annually in the first quarter for the US. So we're looking for a bounce back, and those two policies combined. So the, t the two together really do give us an outlook for global growth, and that ties in with oil because without these geopolitical tensions, it really remains as to how much demand there is for oil versus the supply of oil. The demand obviously increases when there's more global growth. Now we've seen increased supplies from the US and their increasing production, so that's a downward force. The upward force has to come from, from growth. Um, obviously the largest economy in the world is the US, hence the importance of this report today. Now let's zoom in on this tight range that we've been looking at in the price of oil. We've been in a 150 cent range with about 106 on the bottom end, 107, uh, 107.50 on the top end. Now we're right in the middle right now, so it's not giving us too much clues based on this four hour chart that I'm gonna show you right here. You can see the range right there. And from this chart, you can't really tell which way the breakout's gonna happen. Now, when you get a tight range like this, one, one way to play it is really not to try and judge which way the breakout is going to happen from. You know, rather just when the breakout does happen, trade that breakout straight away as the price moves beyond one of these barriers or a certain percentage beyond one of these barriers as an extra level of caution. Or you can look at a close for the day or for the hour or for whatever time period you're trading beyond one of these barriers. Or you could look for a move through it and a pullback to that former support or resistance area and then look to trade from there at a more preferential price. But to, if you did want to try and judge the direction, something you can do is pull back to a longer term chart, which I'm going to show you now, is the, the weekly chart for crude oil. And you can see uh, the week before last, we had a strong hammer pattern off some support, um, just, just as you can see on the four hour chart, around this kind of 104.50 area. So that hammer formation is typically bullish, and then the following week, we saw a weak-ish, but still nevertheless, a bullish engulfing candlestick. So on the weekly formation, it's looking like a potential move higher, but if we zoom down to this four hour chart, it's obviously looking sideways, it could go either way. Perhaps that weekly chart lends towards the upside, but still, we'll have to wait and see particularly for this GDP report today. So that's it for this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot. Keep an eye on the price of oil. Look out for this potential breakout. Um, keep an eye, obviously, on today's reports, the GDP and the uh, FOMC, the Federal Reserve in the US. And if that wasn't enough for you, keep an eye on the non-farm payrolls report on Friday, and we'll be holding our weekly webinar on that.